Hey, what's up everyone? How's it going? So, worked out, woke up early, then finally fell asleep at like one o'clock, woke up around quarter to seven, which is a pretty good sleep, and then I edited the vlog. It only took me about an hour and a half, so it's online now. Pretty awesome. So I think that'll work out. I mean, I'm getting the same amount of sleep, but I'm awake for more day hours, and I think that's kind of what I want to do, because I want to be able to do more pictures and maybe wake up and catch the sun rise occasionally. I don't know. Winter's coming up. I've got to change my sleeping schedule anyways. So, yeah. Finish that up. I'm going to head off to work. There's a barbecue at my work today, which is pretty cool. And, uh... That's about it. Let's get to it. So I'm sure anyone out there who uses Instagram notice that there's an update and you'll see in your feed that there's a lot more non-square cropped photos. And I for one am not a fan of the non-square photos in Instagram reason for this is because you can't put Instagram in landscape mode therefore anytime you crop a photo it's way smaller and also I like the challenge of trying to make the composition work in what you have in the app I like the fact that you have to work around having a square crop and anytime I see like a photo with that white space, it just, I think it takes away from it. it makes the photo so much smaller. And it's just something that like I'm never going to do. It's full moon tonight, and I'm just getting a time lapse right now. But, I was going to show you a trick of what I do when I take Instagram pictures to know if I'm actually setting one up for a square crop if your camera is not capable of putting in the crop lines. What do you think of the Instagram update? So I mentioned I was going to give you a little tip. Uh, lately I've been taking a lot of pictures of cars and things like that. Whoop. And uh, I, whenever I take a picture, I also think about like the square crop. It's kind of weird, but it's just kind of what I do because, as I mentioned, I am posting to Instagram all the time and it's kind of like my push to take photos every day. So on my older camera, if you look at this, it doesn't have square crop lines. Maybe newer cameras will do the square crop lines, 
But if you see my truck on this shot that I just took and you just saw, the square crop would be somewhere around here. So if I was taking a picture of my truck and I wanted to post it on Instagram, I wouldn't be able to do that. And I don't have the square crop, crop lines, so I don't really know where it would be. So whenever I'm shooting pictures of cars, like at car shows and things like that, then what I do, especially because I'm using this 30 mil, so it's kind of the like the look I want to get. I could go with a wider lens and be closer, obviously. But I really like this lens and I use it a lot. So if I'm going to take a picture of a car and I'm going and I don't know if it's going to fit in the frame, because you don't know, right? Where's it going to get cut off? You need to know these things. So what I do, it's really simple. If it fits this way and you get your edges in, so I keep stepping back. I'm in video mode now, so ignore those gray lines. So right there, the truck will be fully in frame when I do a square crop this way. And that's it. It's as simple as that. You turn the camera sideways, you make sure that it fits everything that you want in the shot, is not hitting the lines that way, and then you take the picture. Easy. So, uh, I think that is it for tonight. That's my thoughts on Instagram. I hate white space. You can't turn the app sideways. That might have been my friend going to his shop. I'm going to go see. And, uh, yeah, I will always post square photos. It's still hip to be square. Yeah, I really said that. Okay, everyone, be good and have a good night.